Hi, you're very welcome. And in this video, um, I just want to work with the same data set again, which is about coffee, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And this time, what I want to do is we're going to set up a pivot table, but I want to be able to see the total of the sales, which I have over here in this one. There we go. I want to be able to see it by product category, but then I also want to be able to analyze it by my store location, so I can just get a quick dive into each of those in turn. And also just to use a little bit on my timeline as well. Um, in this video as well, I want to explore how you can line them up nice and tidily and how you can use Excel's formatting on it as well. So I begin, as always, by going to the data set, which I have already converted into a table. I know this through my psychic powers and also because of the fact that I can see the table design is up here as well. Okay. I then come up here to table design. And again, just a quick reminder, the reason I've set it up with table design is that it makes it much easier if I need to refresh the data. So I go to table design up here, and then I come over here to summarize a pivot table. So you can just see if I go over to there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose the option which says put it on a new worksheet, which is the default. And then I click OK. Now, once I've got this done, over here on the right hand side, I'm going to construct my pivot table. So I'm going to begin by dragging down my product category down into the rows, because that's what I want to go on the left hand side. And I just drag my sales down into my values. Okay. Now, a couple of things here. First of all, I want to kind of organize this, uh, sort it. So right click and sort, which is here. Notice that I did it in the numbers, so just a right click and then sort, and then I just choose largest to smallest. Okay, so I got that done. Zoom it up a little bit so you can see it. And now what I want to do is I want to add a slicer. So a slicer would allow me to say, look, I only want to see the data, for example, for a specific location. So I'm going to do this. I come over here to my store location, which is over here. And what I can do is I can do a right click here, and there's an option that says add a slicer. Or alternatively, I can go up here to my new pivot table analyze ribbon up here. And if you just remember that everything is kind of on that ribbon, you'll find it. And I just go insert slicer. And then I just click on store location and I click OK. So there we have it, store location. And I've got that set up. And then if I click on each of these in turn, you can see there it gives me each of these. And then if I want to clear it, I can just use this one which says Alt and C as well. So just clear that too. The second thing I want to add is a timeline which allows me to look at it by time. So this time again, I come over here and I'm going to go to transaction date. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a right click on here and I'm going to go add as timeline. Right. Now if you notice here in the right hand side, it says months. But I could also, let's say, choose it to years or days. OK, so I want to see specific days and say, let's see how that was performing. And then if I want to, I could say, OK, that's what happened on that day. And what was that like in Hell's Kitchen? There we go. And then clear it. And the last bit then I want to add to this is a chart. OK, so also I'm just going to reset the data here again. Corner. So again, make sure you always go back to the pivot table. And then if you just remember that you go up to your analyze up here. And then I just click on over here, it says recommended pivot chart. Not pivot tables, but pivot chart. Now, please bear in mind that when you choose a pivot chart, that not all options are available to you. So for example, if I go down here to waterfall, and I must say, in my head now, I have that little thing from TLC, which is don't go chasing waterfalls, which is particularly apt here because you can't do it on a pivot table. But if I go to a bar chart, there we go, and I click OK. All right. Now, a couple of things here. All right. Is that I kind of noticed, and again, I'm sure there's some good reason for this, but I never really know why, is even though I've sorted my numbers over here, from largest to smallest, that's not how it appears on my chart. So one of the ways around that is if I do a right click here, and let me just do a little resize here now on this one. OK, 
Okay, I'm just going to remove that total because we don't need it. And if I just do a right click here, and down at the very bottom, there's an option that says Format Axis. So I just go to right click, go to Format Axis. And there's an option over here then that says Categories in Reverse Order. So if I just put a little tick in that box, there you go, coffee, tea, etc. Now, if you don't like these headings over here, and some people really don't like them, other people don't care, I leave it to you to decide. Make sure you click on the chart, go back up here to my pivot chart, analyze. No, that's not correct. Go to format, go to design. I was in the right place. And here it says field buttons. And here I can just go to hide all. Okay. Now, the last thing I want to do on this is I just want to tidy the whole thing up so it's nice and tidy. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert some rows at the top. Click here. Just do my control and plus. And then I want to get this in a nice horizontal location. So I click on it. Go up here to slicer. And then here under columns, I just change, I'll change that to a three. All right, and then that comes in much more tidily over here. I can resize it a little bit. And then I still have left some, so I need to do my control and plus again. And I always think timelines take up way too much space, but anyway, that's just me. Move that a little bit. Resize it. Will it fit? Nope, it won't. I need to put some more in here. Put the transaction date over here nice and tidily. Resize it. And then I'm just going to bring up the chart so it's beside it. So bring up the chart up here. So it's beside it. And I'm just going to rename that analysis of product category. Sales. OK, there we go. So here we have it. Now, if I come up here, and I'm just going to resize my screen a fraction so you can see everything on one screen. If I come up here to Astoria, see there, it'll give me a different breakdown on it. And let's say I want to look specifically at specific dates. I can see, okay, there's the 5th of January, which I've just picked at random in Lower Manhattan. Now, I think one thing that might be of benefit here on my chart would be just to add a little bit on the labels at the end. So if I just go here to the plus on this one, and then I can just go to data labels. Yep. And that works quite well, I think. And then if I come back up here again, Click on each of these in turn. There we go through it. Right. Now, the last thing I just want to do here is that if I want to change the formatting of this, I click up here on the slicer, and I just choose a format here. So notice I've clicked on the slicer. I get this new ribbon here called slicer. And then I'm just going to choose this green. And then if I come here to my timeline, again, I get a new ribbon up here which says timeline. And then I'm just going to choose my green again. Yes, I do like green. All right. And if I again choose the pivot table, again, come up here to design. And then I can just choose, let's say, this one, green again. And then for the last one, click on the chart, come up here to design. And I'm just going to go to, let's say, choose my colors, change colors. And I must go down to get green. OK, so there you go. All right. Hope you find this useful. And um, yeah, as always, comments are always welcome. And mind yourself and take care. Bye.